Uh, getting back to the beginning stages of the autopsy, or even before the actual autopsy began, do you recall uh, whether when the x-rays were taken, the x-rays, the photos? Yeah, well, as far as the exact x-ray was taken, no, I don't recall. I do, I do recall the comments of the doctors, you know, started examining the body before they did anything, you know, looking at the body, looking at the where the bullets had entered the back of his head. It was obvious that uh, one bullet entered the back of his head and exited on the right side of his face and pretty well blew away the right side of his head. Uh, and then the other two bullets had entered at the lower part of his neck. And to the best of my knowledge, or the best of my memory, one had exited. The other bullet had entered from behind and hit his chest cavity. And the bullet went down into the body. And during the autopsy, this is the only part that I can imagine would be of any really, what I've told you a little bit right there, strictly confidential nature that was never written up anywhere. And I presume, am I right, these, this tape and this conversation is strictly confidential for, you know, it's not going to be published, I guess is what I'm getting at. It's not going to be published during the term of this committee. It's through 1978. Well, okay. Well, is that, as far as I can remember, and I'm pretty positive of it, they never found the third bullet. It did not exit the body. When they did the autopsy, I can remember first they cut the top of his head off, mm -hmm. and then they cut his chest open. You know, and, to, and they got all of his insides out. That was the only gory part. They took him out piece at a time. It laid him up on, I remember, beautiful, clean stainless steel rack with water pouring over it all the time. I imagine, you know, to keep it fresh or whatever. They did the whole autopsy, then they came back and, you know, sliced up all the organs. Your slides? I hope I'm not contradicting myself, but at this point, and there again, like I say, it's been a long time, I, I feel that there was no really entrance room. Maybe I said that in the rear of his head. There was a point where they determined the bullet entered the back of his head. But I believe all of that part of his head was gone. I mean, I think it just physically blew away that part of his head. Mm -hmm. You know, just a, like a strip right across there. Or it may have been just in that area. It just blew it out. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the damage caused by the entrance and the exit of the bullet to the head was one large hole. To the best of my recollection, yes, it did. The one that went in the back of the other ones that went in the back of the neck. Like I say, I saw the blood spots and what have you, but they weren't tremendous, weren't a blow away like this. But of course, what little I know about it, which isn't held a lot, you know, when you, your bone is right there, so when it hit it, the bullet probably expanded, hit something solid and ripped. Where here, it went in to tissue before it hit anything. Is there any discussion of the nature of the bullet which caused the hit? No. But to my recollection, no, there wasn't. Was there any discussion that it would take a certain kind of bullet to cause that kind of damage? If it was done, it was probably, I'm thinking it was probably done in the privacy of the doctors after the autopsy. I don't remember, and I'm sure it must have been mentioned we're in the autopsy, but I. I'm not going to say yes or no because I don't have any other. Do you remember the doctors describing the wound in the front of the neck as being caused by anything other than a bullet? No, no, no. Do you remember the discussion as to whether or not there would be a tracheotomy incision? No, I guess anything. I do remember something about that, but I think that, if I remember... I think that would have to come after reading things about what went on in Dallas. I, I don't know, I honestly just don't remember discussing that. Okay, what have you read about Dallas? About I, it's been so long. Like I say, that, that I'm glad I haven't. I'm glad I didn't go back over any articles or read because I don't even remember.
I, you, I don't remember. You don't recall whether or not there was a tracheotomy decision? Absolutely not. Well, you say you didn't hear the doctors discuss that. Did you explicitly hear the doctors say that the wound in the front of the neck was caused by a bullet? If you want to get down to specifics, no. The only thing I do remember was when they kept talking about the infants in the back of the neck and looking at the hole in the front of the neck. To the best of my knowledge, they were convinced that a bullet came out of the front of the neck. And that's how they were determining where to look for the other bullet. By the angle it went in at the back and came out at the front, where to look at the other one. Oh, the angle where it came in the head... Right. came out the front of the neck, right. using that angle. To, to determine where to look for the bullet for the other one, because I presume they, from what they were looking at, both entrances looked to be the same. In other words, both entrances looked like, you know, the angles were the same on both entrances, or the size of the hole probably was the same, and in the front, I, I didn't. I'm, I'm not going to stand here and make up a story, make it sound good. I, I just don't remember whether they discussed uh, the size of a tracheotomy hole or it, it in relation to where a bullet might have exited. How much time would you say, uh, relatively speaking, did the doctors spend on the three wounds you described? Did they spend more time on one or the other of the wounds? They, they spent more time looking for that other bullet than they did anything else. You described the bullet that went in on the lower part of the neck, I remember saying it must have hit the chest cavity and ricocheted down somewhere into the body. Do you remember any discussion? And they spent a lot of time on that. Because I remember when they cut him open the front, you know, they I remember, you know, now let's look for this, let's look for this. When they took all the organs out, they went through and cut the organs up looking for bullets. And finally, to the best of my knowledge, and I, and I you know, I remember this, I don't remember how much more they did after this. I remember them saying, that bullet could be anywhere. It could have gone right down to the to his heel or his toe. You know, it could have ricocheted and just traveled right on down through the bottom of his, you know, through his insides. Do you remember any discussion uh, among the doctors as to whether the bullet was entered in the lower part of the neck, lower, the back, lower back yeah. part of the neck, exited from the front of the neck? Yeah, well, I remember they were firmly convinced it did not. Okay. So you're convinced That's why they spent so much time looking for it. They, they they traced it through the back of his neck, through, you know, when they did the autopsy, through the inside of his body, and there was no where the bullet was then where it should have exited. It was not. And at the angle it was traveling, and from, you know, the other things they saw visible in the chest area once they cut him open, you know, it had started down, but where was it? When they opened up the body from the front, did the, were they able to discern any part of the track of the bullet? I'm, I'm convinced they were in the upper part of his body, yes, because that's how they started following it. And then I think is when they started taking the organs out, and you know, one at a time, all they, they took all of his insides out. I remember that. Boy, they had four or five piles of insides laying up on the table. You know, and they thoroughly examined each one of those. And, uh, you know, they just had a big hollow chest and stomach cavity that left, or particularly chest cavity, when they got through. And uh, so I'm, I'm very convinced in my own mind that they were very convinced that bullet was, was somewhere in it. When they because, they must, because, you know, the, the, from their conversation, they, they tracked the bullet as far as they could in a downward position before they couldn't tell where it went. That's when they started taking organs apart and looking wherever they could look without going ahead and just cutting him apart. And I think their decision finally was, we're just not going to cut him, you know, take every, you know, completely dissect him to find the bullet. It, it, to them, obviously, at that point, it wasn't that important. When they opened up the chest, and you say they saw part of the track of the bullet, yeah. did they take a photograph of that? Can't tell. Don't, don't know. Honestly, don't know. 
the one that they, you know, hit his chest, the one that exited here, there was no egg, entered here, there was no exit hole. So the bullet was somewhere in his body, obviously. And you said enter here, referring to, to the back, lower back of the neck. Back. And it, from the angle they were talking about, it, must, it had to come from quite a height because when they were looking and talking to each other, the angle where they were pointing it went in to where they figured it hit him. Where it would have exited had to be a down angle. And also, all the, throughout their entire discussion, I, I never entered the discussion, neither did Sam Bird. We were just sitting there watching and listening. And we weren't asked for our opinions, and for good obvious reason, we wouldn't have known what we were talking about. So we never entered any conversation with the doctors or, uh, you know, were offered any information except what we heard them talking. Do you remember any discussion when they were trying to find out where the bullet went of the possibility that the bullet had gone in the back and had fallen out of the body? In other words, had not exited or remained in the body. No, I rem- no that, that was no possibility because there were no other holes. It could have fallen out. That's what I mean. I mean, did they discuss it? to the rear. You know, no, it just fell out of the entrance. No, no, no. And the bullet... The well, bullet had the penetrated, skin. the bullet that went in the skin, it, it had penetrated, there was evidence of it inside of his body, and so there was no way it could have fallen out. 